Last week, DA parliamentary leader Lindy Wemazibuko announced that she was leaving the party to study at Harvard University in the U.S., while MP Tim Harris is moving to the office of Cape Town Mayor Patricia DeLille. What do these shifts mean for the party following the sh its showing at the polls? I'm now joined by political analyst C. Posiebe. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. You know, before we went into the elections, of course, there were these allegations with about these divisions within the DA. Looking what, at what's happening now, is this a sign or confirmation of those allegations? Well, I think it's a confirmation, but we should also not be surprised of divisions, not only in the DA, but within the party, par all parties. You go to the ANC, you go to COPE and all that. But uh, most parties have a way of handling them in a manner that uh, is, does not show them. But what is emerging within the DA is that the centre does not hold, but also it reflects badly on the leader herself, uh, Helen Zilla, in terms of managing this. Because uh, they did manage to almost manage this process of her resignation so well until yesterday, where she almost confirmed that uh, Lindy Wei Masbuko is leaving because she's very unhappy and that they're uh, going to have it was simply a plan B, not their plan A. Now, now, in terms of Tim Harris moving to Cape Town Mayor Patricia DeLille's office, is, can that be seen as a strategic move? Yes, I, I think. Um, if you consider that we'll be moving to the municipal elections and you look at the work and the maturity and understanding that uh, Tim Harris brings around the economic uh, uh, sector, uh, especially given that the biggest challenge is about job creation and all that, and uh, he's moving towards an area of investment. You could uh, read that as not so much a fallout, but more as a strategic move to strengthen and to make sure that the, the DA can always say we have a better story to tell than the, uh, the ruling party. Now, do the divisions not threaten the gains that the party was able to make, particularly in this election? Well, I think uh, in terms of uh, the black vote, it doesn't augur well. But if you look at it, this seems to be the Achilles heel of Helen Zille. You remember that uh, when she appointed the first uh, cabinet, it was largely all white males. And even then, it remained a, a cabinet without women. And effectively, it showed somebody who does not seem to be moving along with the times. But when it comes to black people, this uh, uh, tendency to parachute the black people into the party, into positions of leadership, s suggests that uh, blacks are simply uh, useful idiots and also expendable. And Lindia Mazibogo seems to have learned the first hard lessons of, of politics, that uh, she's disposable. And uh, Helen Zilla's uh, comments suggest that, says, well, I can always get another black person. And here's uh, uh, my money, who seems to be the poster boy or the new poster boy for, for the DA. Now, political parties are already thinking about the municipal elections that are coming up in two years. What would, what would you say the DA needs to now be working on in order to try and uh, d do some damage control? Well, the first thing that they need to do is to have a consistent message, especially around the interest of black voters. Uh, if you want to break into that, you need to have clarity that you cannot only be entering the politics and the elections and campaigns uh, on the basis of being against the ANC. You need to be able to say, if you vote for us, these are the material benefits or advancements that uh, will accrue to you. Because uh, you have to understand that there has been a historical disadvantage. And uh, at the moment, the DA's campaign has been more about the weakness of the ANC. It has not really spoken to what uh, most black people feel uh, strongly about. For instance, the DA has always been very confused around the issue of affirmative action. And even then, when they try to oppose affirmative action, they try to take the most obscene of examples where there's a clear abuse of, of the policy. They don't look at the best of these policies and say, when we apply it, we'll make sure that they, we are going to redress the past imbalances. So they need to get that message clear that we are not using black people simply to sustain and maintain power. And do you think Helen Zilla will stand for re-election at the party's National Congress? 
I think uh, she's beginning to make so many mistakes and almost that shows a, a, a element of desperation. And when you are desperate, that is not the best way of winning. And I think uh, she has taken the party so far. She may well be advised that uh, it might be time for her to step down. All right, thank you so much for your time. That was political analyst Sipo Siebe. Know more about your world. ENCA.com.